is the timing, and we're going over mitral stenosis and mitral regurgitation. Um, mitral stenosis is a rumble that increases in sound towards the end, and is continuous sound between S2 and S1. It's heard during diastole, and it's heard at the epical pulse, which is fifth intercostal space, um, mid-clavicular. Murmur type is uh, mitral stenosis, and a little mnemonic you can listen, you can try and remember it too uh, is ruby diamonds. Apparently, might take spending. So, ruby is rumble, diamond. Apparently, is diastole epical, and uh, might take spending mitral stenosis. So, let's see if that helps you. We have the second one, which is a mitral regurgitation. We have um, hollow systolic sound. It's heard during systole, and it's heard at the apex, fifth intercostal space. And this is mitral regurgitation. How am I going to remember? It's a like, holy spit, hollow systolic. The simple approach, systolic apex, might take regulation, mitral regurgitation. So, holy spit, the simple approach might take regulation. Hollow systolic, simple apex, systole apex, mitral regurgitation versus mitral stenosis. Mm, ruby diamond apparently might take some spending. So, rumble sounds heard during diastole at the epical pulse equals mitral stenosis. Ruby diamonds apparently might take spending. Rumbles and with that, during diastole at the epical site would be mitral stenosis. Holy spit, the simple approach might take some regulation.